Hello and welcome back to Growing with Griffith. My name is Taylor and if you are new here, I'm an army spouse that is currently with my husband stationed in South Korea and we are heading to Fort Riley, Kansas in a few months here. And I've been a spouse for about two years and this channel is all about what it's like to be a military spouse, things to do in South Korea, soon to be things to do in Fort Riley and so much more. If you are not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that's where I post all of my content on a daily basis. And if you're interested in more content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button to Growing with Griffith. And if you're looking for a one-stop shop for all things that I just said, military life tips, encouragement, encouragement in your faith, things like that, then make sure to check out my website, growingwithgriffith.com. Now, today I am here to share something that I think every military spouse should have. life binder and I'm going to tell you what needs to go in it, how to make it, and a tool that I have found that I will be reviewing that I think everyone needs to order as soon as this video is over and I will link them in the description box below. The first thing that you need to know is as a new military spouse or even just an older military spouse, you need to have some kind of way to organize all of the paperwork, all the files, all the documents, the receipts. I mean, there's so much paperwork when it comes to military life. And if you've been a military spouse for even a few months now, you will understand and agree with that statement, but there's so much paper. And I have since organized it all into this bad boy right here. So. Military life comes with a lot of paperwork and a lot of organization because these things, while it is a lot of paperwork, every single piece is very important. And as you know, military spouses, military families move a lot. They move like 10 times more than the average civilian family. And with moving comes more paperwork and you need to be organized, especially if um, you have kids, you have all of their documents. I mean cars, there's so many things that you need to keep track of with life in the military. So everything that I would need is right here and it's all organized and filed and listed out in a way that makes it really easy for me to reference at any time. Anything that I need, I know that it's going to be here and anything that comes in, I can find a place for it in here and easily find it. And the way that I have set this up is through a life binder kit from List and File. List and File creates these, these kits for you, which are like this, tabs. This is what the kit looks like, and it comes with 12 different pre-labeled and listed tabs for you to put um, insert them into your binder. Now you can also just slip them into an accordion file if that's more your style for organization, but I really like the binder. I especially like this binder because I was able to decorate the cover. I think that's, that's part of the fun. <laughs> so I decorated the front, put some pictures in the back, and so I just, I really wanted to make it my own. And so the big thing here though is these list and file tabs right here. So I'm going to go through what these are like. So you have 12 different tabs and then you also, it comes with this quick guide. This is the health tab. And so the top row is where you're going to put the family member. So I don't have this one filled out yet. This is just my example of their new design. It's so beautiful. And you're gonna put the family members that you have. For me, it's just my husband and I. And then down the line, you can go through the things that you're gonna need. Now for me specifically as a newer military spouse, I didn't really know what should go in these binders. I of course have all of the documents that come home with my husband and then my own personal files that I have for myself, like birth certificate, passport, those 
like more typical things but as far as military life and what will be needed for a pcs and stuff like that um, this has been a game changer because they already have some of these things filled out at the top and you can just check the people that you have those documents for behind the tab so like for example this is specific for military families i would put my name here my husband's name and then any kids um, the Deers TRICARE plan information. Now I know, okay, that's something that I should have on file and I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put it in my binder behind this tab and check it off. Um, explanation of benefits, medical records, and then the thing that I also love about these is that there are plenty of tabs for you to fill out yourself or plenty of spaces on here and you can just customize it to be your own thing. The thing that I like is that it has what you probably should have here and then you can also add your own. And then of course there's a little notes section. And then something else I really like is at the top, they have a little quote that goes with each thing. So this one says, healthy citizens are the greatest asset any country can have. Winston, so, there's the health one, pets, identity. So this is like the main, the main things that you would have like birth certificate, driver's license, military ID, like copies of all of these things, social security card, this one's a big one housing household finance legal forms and dd form 93 like i don't even know what that is as a new military spouse i need to figure that out and put it behind there and now i know that that's definitely something that i will need to have thanks to these list and file tabs vehicles emergency and like it's not all just family member at the top. So this one says for each duty station and you can fill up to all these different duty stations. So these will last you a while. You wouldn't have to get a new set um, for a long time if you're gonna be in the military life for longer than this many here. So um, for example, on the emergency, you've got for each duty station, your 72 hour kit checklist, evac communication plan, first aid kit checklist, and anything else that you deem an emergency that you'd be filing behind it is what you fill out here. Deployment, um, I haven't gone through that yet, but all the things that you would wanna have for your deployment files. Education and travel. So those are all of the tabs. And then on the quick guide that they give you, which is so nice, um, so the first thing you're going to fill in the top row, so either the family member or the duty station that you're filling out for each um, tab. And then you're going to add anything else, like write down anything else that you're going to have behind that that you already have possession of. And then step three, you're just going to put them in your binder and add your files. And of course I can't show you what I have in here, but as you can see I've already filled out a bunch of, a bunch of this and what I did you could, if you're doing the binder version, I got these just like clear binder inserts. They were just a few dollars. And I put a bunch of those behind each tab or you could definitely um, three hole punch them. You could do a mix of both. But then I put my tabs in uh, and then I popped the documents right, right behind them and then checked off what is there. So I know where everything is in this binder so fast. It's so convenient. Now, next on the quick guide, it says step four, add any relevant notes, reminders, or to-dos in the notes section in pencil. That is the key. So pencil, which I really want to fill it out with my cute pens, but you know, as a military spouse, things can change all the time. So in pencil, you're going to write down any notes. And then on the back, this is also really, really helpful. On, on the back of the quick guide, it says additional suggestion list. The following documents might also apply to you. So for each tab they have here, they have other examples of things that you might wanna include behind the tab. And I actually keep the quick guide in the binder, just in the pocket, so that whenever I get more documents, I can just add them to the binder and I'll know what needs to go where. When I was coming to Korea, I came by myself and I had I had all my stuff in just a random like manila folder or like file folder and it wasn't really organized. I just had what I thought that I would need, what I what was suggested that I would need and I had to like shuffle through it and I was really nervous and things weren't organized 
as neatly as these allow me to be. And I also just didn't have it all, the, all the stuff that I needed. So with these binder kits, you're not gonna miss anything. You know exactly where things are. And if you're going to an appointment or you're moving or you are, whatever the case may be, having an appointment at the deer's office, whatever it is, they ask you for something, you can check your tab and see that you do have it behind there or not. And it just makes it so much easier. The things that I love about it, it's obviously very cute. They have so many cute designs. They're really, really sturdy. They're on like super thick paper, which is really nice. And then these parts are not laminated, but they're, they're even more sturdy on the top or on the tabs. And then they're already three hole punched for you. And those are also reinforced as well. So you can pop them right in and they are very, very high quality. That I like how they have a, a quote that goes with each one. It's really cool. Um, but this has been a game changer, especially for as we are heading into our second PCS. We are leaving Korea and PCSing back to the States, which can be really hectic and really overwhelming. There's a lot of different paperwork that goes along with any PCS, but I'd say especially an Oconus PCS, which is really all that I've done. <laughs> but there's a lot that's involved. So this has really taken the worry and stress out of it for me personally, because I know it's all right here. I have a go-to place that I can put everything and it's just very well organized and it's cute. And I just have everything that I need and I know exactly where it is and it's all organized in here very well. So I highly recommend list and file. These binder tabs are so much better than anything I could have done on my own, especially as a new military spouse, because I am not, it just takes the guesswork out of what needs to be where and what kind of paperwork that I do need to make sure to include in this to make my life as a military spouse easier. I'm going to include their link in the description box below for you to check out their website. I'm gonna go over some frequently asked questions about these binder sets so that that can take out the worry or hassle for you and you can place your order as soon as this video is over. So the first question they have is, do they offer bulk or custom orders? Yes, you can email info at listandfile.com. Um, with the subject bulk order or custom order to them. And the owner, Liz, is amazing. She's so friendly and she can work with you on whatever it is that you need. Second question is how many tabs do you get? The answer is there are 12 tabs that you get. Identity, health, housing, household, legal, finance, vehicles, emergency, deployment, education, travel, and pets. So there's over 40 of the things that are filled out for essential files are pre-printed on here. And then there's over 60 more recommendations on that quick card that you can fill out yourself. Okay, well, that is all that I have. I highly suggest that you check out their website at listandfile.com to check out which binder set that you want to order and you can start your military binder or you can upgrade your military life binder with a list and file life kit. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, I would love for you to let me know in the comments. Tell me, do you have a military binder already started? Do you need to start one? And if so, definitely check out List and File and I will see you next time. Thanks.